Yo, yo, what up, y'all? We back with another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys the duffel bag glitch. So what you're going to be able to do, instead of each time you return a duffel bag, it gives you one unlockable. So, you know, you'll get a cosmetic, you'll get an emblem, you'll get a spray, you know, something like that. You might even get a skin if you're lucky enough. But with this glitch, instead of you getting one duffel bag each time you return it, it's actually going to give you three, which is pretty dope. Uh, it's unfortunate because I actually didn't even get the opportunity to use this for my own run because I actually had already returned all the totems, got all the skins. But if you haven't got everything already, this is definitely going to help you guys out. Now, while I'm sure you guys have already seen, they have went ahead and launched that they're not going to be doing any more content for Back for Blood. So it is unfortunate. You know, I did let out a tear. This is one of my favorite games, but we will still have you know, deck videos, I will still be helping people get their swats, I will still be running people through things, helping people out, so make sure you guys smack the like button on this video, so that way you guys have the glitch, and then also make sure you guys hit that sub button, we'll still have more deck tips coming out, you know, I got more doc things coming out, I still got some stuff I was working on, so make sure you guys are looking out for that, but um, as far as the duffel bags, so as you can see here, if you guys start doing this glitch, make sure you guys get all the skins. Now, the skins right here where it says like license to grill, like usually in that slot, that's going to be the duffel bag skins. So like the two soon here for Evangelo. And then where you see like license to kill in that slot is usually the totem skins. So this glitch is going to help you get all the duffel bag skins. But for the totem skins, you'll still have to run through the totems, do all those. So, so getting into the method. So what you want to do. So first, of course, you want to have the duffel bag and then you want to find yourself a hive. So what you're going to want to do is take the bag over here, drop it on the hive. Now, since I was playing with bots, I actually had to... Pretty much go back to the spot to where I found the bag so I can go and get a tool slot item. So you're, you're just going to need something like a defib, uh, you know, like a stun gun, a tool kit. In this case, we're using a stun gun. So what you want to do is grab that, run back over to the duffel bag and the hive. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to stand over the duffel bag and then you're going to swap that out with the tool kit item while you're entering the hive so just do it over and over and over again real real quick now it doesn't even matter if you have the duffel bag in your hand or not once it enters the hive uh it still does work i did it both ways and then yeah it actually will give you three items instead of one which is crazy and uh yeah this will definitely help you get everything a whole lot faster i was i, I was pretty much just messing around on the hive when i was going through it like uh, ending one of the tunnels and uh, I seen that happen I was like wow three of them so <laughs> that's uh, it's actually insane uh, down in the comments let me know if you guys knew about this or if you guys have been doing it I definitely had no idea like I said I was running them through one at a time so yeah mind is blown had no clue now what I'm gonna also do real quick is run through my settings because a lot of people you know while I'm live or even under the comments they ask me what are my settings how do I have it set up so as you can see here, you know, I'm rocking with the dot. I showed you how the auto center recoil works. I don't use that. Pretty much what it'll do is it'll just, every time you aim down sights, it'll just middleize the screen onto that target. Now going down, uh, the accessibility is really up to you. I would turn the motion blur off and then I would also turn the ping opacity down. So whenever you're pinging something, it's not just a super white ping. You know, it's actually see-through, so people can actually see whatever you are pinging. For subtitles, I turn them all on because it actually shows, like, the ambient noises and words, you know, so that's always good to see. It'll say, like, Reekers come in or Wretch approaches, blah, blah, blah. Now, as far as controller layout, this is how I play. I use Claw, you know, so I'm crouching with L2, sprinting with R2, jumping with X, L1, R1 for shooting and aiming. As far as sensitivity and dead zone, this is really up to you. I was playing 50, 55, 20 for a long time. As far as my dead zone, my right stick is actually like broken or like losing its traction, I guess you can say. So I have my dead zone turned up, but this is all based on your controller. So if you had a brand new controller, you could probably just turn the dead zones all the way down. So, you know, you'll have to test that out. 
as far as movement, I would turn hold to crouch off. There's just no point to have to hold it. And then as far as like the movements, I put them all on linear. So the difference between exponential and linear so 5520, if I'm playing that on linear, it'll always be linear. But if you have it on exponential, it'll pretty much increase up and down as you look up or down. So we don't want that. As far as the aim assist, I just play it on 5050. It really doesn't matter to me, I don't think. But for friction, this is going to slow down when you're looking at a person or like whenever you're hovering over them. So how fast or how slow you want it to slow down. And then the magnetism is just pretty much locking on as they're moving. Now, as far as like the sprint, the aim down sights, I would pretty much just leave those on hold. As far as the aim down sights, of course, you would want to have that on hold too. And then for graphics, motion blur, just turn all that off. The chromatic aberration, that's pretty much just how you're looking at things through the light. So that's up to you. For field of view, you can choose between horizontal or vertical. If you're on vertical, you can only turn it up to 80, 80 or 90 FOV, I'm pretty sure. For horizontal, it goes all the way up to 110. So yeah, vertical is 80, horizontal is 110. So I would definitely play on horizontal. You know, you'd definitely be able to see more. And then mostly everything else is just all about preference. You know, the graphics, the brightness, contrast, that's up to you. The audio, that's also up to you. So yeah, for the stamina, breath, and choking, you can turn that on or off. Again, that is just preference. And pretty much everything else is just preference. I think the main things is really just turning it on tritinopia, putting it on the dot, making sure your aim assist, making sure your dead zone is good, making sure your buttons are good, and then, honestly, you're probably good. So down in the comments, let me know if you guys have any more questions about settings. I did run through it pretty quick, but I think they're pretty straightforward, so... Again, make sure you guys like this video. Go out, do that duffel bag glitch. It's definitely going to help you guys get the skins a lot faster. And again, we are going to be dropping way more decks. I probably got about four or five more I'm working on. After that, I'm going to be looking into probably getting on to a different game. I'm thinking Dead Island. So if you guys are, just let me know down in the comments. If you guys ever played Dead Island, know what I'm talking about. It's a really, really good zombie game. Kind of just like Back for Blood. But it does have its differences, so let me know what you guys think about Dead Island. Again, make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys hit that sub button. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping in, and I'll see you on that next one. Peace.